All right, we're back. We have a, a pretty cool build that I want to talk about. I had to make some, I had to make some changes because of the patch. Uh, in the previous video, I was running a different version of this build, which was this one. So I didn't actually, I cannot, I, I feel like this one is just less reliable overall nowadays. And this one is just better. It has, it's more tanky and it has enough mobility. So this is the one that we're going to talk about today. So the whole goal is to use the explosive thrower because I like the explosive thrower overall. It's a cool looking weapon. Ever since the reveal trailer of Armored Core 6, when they had the clip with the quad leg jumping in and then exploding everything with this, I thought, damn, I hope this is a weapon in the game because it looks pretty cool and it looks like a shield and I like shields. And I also have a shield on my back anyways. So the thing is you, the whole play style, right? With this weapon is that you want to use it to punish people who get too close to you. Either they're using a soul boost or either they're trying to kick you. Uh, if you, if you uh, actually, if they're actually trying to kick you and they're too close for you to use the explosive thrower first, you want to block first with the shield and then punish with the explosive thrower. If they're far enough when they are soul boosting you can use the explosive thrower uh, to you know in advance so that they can get hit first and then you can block whatever they're trying to do with the assault boost later on so that's pretty cool uh, this build actually before the patch could work sometimes against people using zimmerman uh, definitely was good against clueless Zimmer zimmerman players but we definitely still get wrecked by them if they were a bit more you know uh, thoughtful about their approach uh, I'm also using these two rocket launchers the two rocket launchers uh, missile launchers that nobody ever uses <laughs> nobody uses them because they're just bad and it makes sense I mean why would you use both of these when you literally have this one down there the reason why I'm not using a parative is because I don't like it it's ugly I think it's it looks terrible and also, uh, it's pretty lazy and boring to use. It's kind of kind of whack. I don't really like it. Um, but I like these two missiles overall. They're kind of bad. You pretty much have to use them at close range. This one kind of spreads around, so you kind of expect people to move towards you when they are uh, when you actually use them. Uh, the thing though is that. You can use the explosive thrower to cover them if you want. Like if somebody is actually trying to dodge them well, you can use the explosive thrower. In that case, these ones go in a straight line, which is why I like them. Um, they're pretty direct. And overall, these two missile launchers have very short reload time. This one is three seconds and this one is four seconds. So I like them for that. You can just switch between the two of them. It's pretty interesting. Uh, and like I said, you have the shield to protect you. From, uh, all kinds of things I'm pretty sure if people want to optimize they can probably use something better I mean I have enough energy to use the coral shield uh, which is undeniably the best shield in the entire game so I should probably run that but I don't want to uh, you have enough energy to use and enough uh, you know weight to use this thing too it's pretty good as well so there's a lot of options that you can use uh, uh, different from what I'm using currently. So yeah, you don't have to use any of the parts that I'm using by the way. They're just very optional. It's just my pure my own preference there. But I like the make being like this overall. I like the weight, I like the mobility, I like the overall defenses. I could probably use different arms as well, but I don't want to uh, I feel comfortable with what I have currently. So more the most important thing I guess with this is going to be the FCS obviously because of the missile lock correction makes you lock on faster with these two missile launchers so you know that's pretty much the rundown of the build I really like it and we're gonna play some PvP matches to show how it's being used all right I'm up I'm gonna try out uh, I'm gonna try out this version of the build I've made like what three or four different versions of this I'm not sure which one is the best to be honest I did like the quad leg though the quad leg version was not bad but this one is also pretty interesting I think I think the other light bipedal one doesn't work as well 
I think it's compromised <laughs> because of the changes. But we'll see. This one might be better. It is slower in terms of boost speed, but it's definitely moving faster with the quick boost. Even the quick boost of overall as a mechanic is not that great. I wish, I wish it was better. I wish, but it's really not. Anyways, what are we fighting? I didn't pay attention. I never pay attention to what I'm fighting ever. Okay, shoot him like this. Switch it up, shoot it with that too, and then switch it up. Oop. Okay, I'm just gonna shield up. Getting too close, my friend. Oh, he dodged. Oh, fuck. He's trying to kick. Yeah, uh, you see how it misses? This is what I don't like that change, man. I'm not a fan. That didn't stagger him even. Kind of, kind of sad. Kind of sad. Not gonna lie. Damn! Did I just dodge Treno by just moving? Dodge Treno by simply moving around. That's crazy. Kind of insane. Okay. The reload time definitely makes it so you can use it more, but I am. So not a fan of the throw range. The throw range. Yeah, I don't like it. Like you can you miss on people who are literally in your face. That sucks. See, it missed. <laughs> That's truly unfortunate. Go chill. Chill little bro. Damn, Trueno is missing like crazy actually. It's so it's so odd to see Trueno miss this much. Damn, then I shouldn't have missed this. Okay, it's already low on health. Can I fly? May I may I fly? May I move? May I breathe? There you go. Yeah, it was kinda of schmoving with the lightweight. I wonder if I rely too much on my shield. Most of the time I notice my shield is down because I'm holding it too for too long. Maybe I should work more with the initial guard. I should play as if I don't have a shield until I need it, right? Until somebody is trying to shoot me with like a Trueno or the Bazooka or... Actually, Bazooka is not a good idea to parry. Mm, maybe something else, we'll see. Laser rifles, charged lasers, or even the Harris and the Truenos. <laughs> Damn. I'm so glad they actually nerfed Truenos. The thing is, it wasn't it wasn't like a crazy OP weapon, but it was definitely one of the brain dead weapons. Like that's the problem that I have with a lot of weapons in the game, is that some of them are just not a lot of them, but some of them are just really brain dead. And they're kinda of boring to fight overall. Why is Bro trying to play at long range? It's one of those long range believers. Thinking it, 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 it doesn't exist in this game. Long range is not a thing. There's mid range, and then there's close range. Yeah. I think the linear rifles are, they're better, but because of base game mechanics, they're not. Things like ricochet, bullet speed in general, all of that, I, I, I just think they're not good. I mean, 
It's not that you cannot win with them. You you can win with pretty much anything in this game, right? People win with uh, things like what is it called? The smoke bomb. I forgot. I always forget the name of that weapon because it basically it basically doesn't exist. But people win with that, right? But it's bad. Like just winning doesn't mean that the weapon is good. It's like in any game. In, in any game, there's always like things are good, things are bad. Obviously, if you put the effort, you can win with something, but it doesn't mean that it's good. It just sucks. Like I've been using the Curtis. I should garbage. <laughs> the Curtis is not. It's not good. I mean, I'm thinking about the Curtis. And then I'm thinking about something like the LRA that I use. LRA is just by it's just by far better, like by a mile. And they function pretty much the same, like almost the same way. But the LRA is just better. <laughs> because the damage is just really high. Damage is everything. Damage and impact damage is everything. Mostly impact damage. But because the the uh, Curtis, the Leader rifles in general, they do pretty good impact damage with the charge shots. But because they do very low base damage, they're just bad. They're just really bad. Meanwhile, if you actually hit somebody that is like staggered with the with the LRA, they might die. <laughs> they might actually die. It takes a lot of health. Let's not even talk about the LRB, right? Because that's something else. But, um, yeah, I, I just think the linear rifles, Kurt, both the Curtis and the, uh, the Harris, I think they're not good. And I mostly blame the base game mechanics for that. So I'm using Ransetsu AR and also Cocklet and Laser Orbits. Laser Orbit. Man, I want to make a build with Laser Orbit, but I'm not sure how to. I was on some... I, I feel like I was on something with my quad leg. But then they nerfed the quad legs quite a bit. I wasn't even using the tanky quad leg, man. Let me have it. What the fuck? I missed that. Let's do this. Okay, never mind. Let's not do that. Woo! Damn, you really ran into that, my man. Damn it. I was hoping it would actually hit the corner in some type of way, but it didn't. No! Come on, man. Hit him. Nice. And he's too high. It's way too high. <laughs> that explosion is so weak. The charge attack sucks. Wait, what? Why was it off? I mean, if you want to stay close, I'm not going to be against that. It's going to hit a shit ton of damage. I'm being lazy. I'm getting cocky because I, I feel like I'm already got this in the bag, but 
you know. Never underestimate the people. Bro, ricochet exists. There's no long range. It's shooting me like there's no ricochet. You have to you have to come box with me, buddy. <laughs> because that's how the game is. <laughs> ricochet is such a stupid it's such a stupid thing. I think for them it was a way to actually make it so, you know, there would be a difference between like uh, using an AR versus using a sniper versus using a, a, a handgun, right? Maybe that was the idea, but it just doesn't work. It just, it's just not good. <laughs> it's just not good. I could understand that the um the handguns like the calculate I, I can understand that they have ricochet the ars i'm not too sure and i think they should definitely do something else when it comes to linear rifles because linear rifles are interesting but i also think they kind of suck like the charge just sucks actually i think it i think they suck because they stagger like they, uh, they stall you when, you when you use the charge shot. I think there should be a thing where linear rifles don't they don't stall you when you use the charge shot, regardless of what legs you're using. Like you can be using like, I don't know quad or even bipedal. Like they don't they just don't stall you. I think that would be nicer, but it would bring it would also bring more value to their. Uh, what is it? Oh shit, Ella Ray. Oh, this is the build that I love people have been using. Damn, he's using also the Nitria arms. I fucking hate Nitria arms. Everybody uses them. And I think I saw laser turrets. <sighs> Damn, everybody uses that same, the exact same build. It's either laser turrets or two laser cannons on the back. Kinda of boring, man. Funny enough, he's actually not doing that much damage to me with that. Did that hit? I'm not even sure. I don't know if it's the missiles that hit him or if it was actually. Yeah, that one definitely hit him. <laughs> Die! How did I miss? Wait, did I miss? Did I not hit him on close range? Am I blind? No, it probably hit. Maybe, maybe the, I was. I just didn't see it correctly. I hope it hit. <laughs> I hope it actually hit. <laughs> okay. I think I can pressure him more with gigs. Be better. Okay, let's go again. Okay, that hit. That hit. Rah! Laser turrets are so lazy, man. Do so much damage. It's a lot of unavoidable shit. Fuck, I always forget about assault armor. People are so addicted to that shit. This is... This is hell. Please. Oh my goodness, finally. You know, I wasn't sure if the hit was actually going to kill him. Like, I was expecting it to hit. But I was not expecting it to kill because it does so little damage sometimes. Like if you hit them in a certain way, it just doesn't do any damage. Can I? Ugh. Okay.
Damn it. That did not hit! What do you mean? Oh, why? How did I not hit him? He's right there. This is why, this is why I said that. I, I wanted them to increase the um, explosion range instead, not the throw range. The throw range is fine. It's the explosion range that sucks. The weapon is meant to be used to punish, not to chase people around. Fuck. Oh, come on. I literally lost because that one moment where it didn't hit. Come on. He was right. He was literally right there in my face. Okay. I think that's enough for the PvP. I mean, I lost. It's okay. <laughs> uh, it was okay. It was okay. Say good job and I'll say thank you. All right. That's pretty much uh, the idea of the build. You just block, you punish if people are trying to be too close to you. You have a shield to protect you from kicks and punish them with the uh, uh, the explosive thrower. But the problem is that with the new range, sometimes it misses. It's kind of funky. I would have, I would have rather had them in, uh, improve the explosion radius, like make the explosions bigger overall, rather than throwing them further. Throwing them further just makes it so you miss more. It makes it so also the defensive playstyle might be a bit less reliable and more punishable because if you miss at close range, then you're fucked. You're just fucked. <laughs> it, it can happen definitely with the new uh, throw range. But yeah, I like this build a lot. It's pretty fun to play. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.